Good morning once again and welcome back to The Breakfast Meeting. To Flo is my name. Now, quick food for thought. Have you done your part in celebrating women, empowering women, supporting women, enabling women? Have you? It's the month of March and before we get to the end of it, there's someone who's actually doing quite a bit to be able to support women, especially in line with the theme, Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. And that's Equity Bank. And joining me from Equity to have a detailed conversation about the Abachala Kuntiko series of events is Laura Bahimka, who is the head of micro banking with Equity Bank. Good morning and welcome, Laura. Thank you too, you're welcome. It's a good thing to know that women like myself are being celebrated, are being empowered, are being strengthened. And you've been doing this with a series of events. Let's talk about Abachala Kuntiko. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, at Equity Bank, um, we believe in uh, creating opportunities for wealth creation, uh, expanding those opportunities. But to do this, uh, we are very sure that you need the women. So we say March is a women's month. Mm -hmm. Why not honor it um, by talking to these women, uh, relating with them, finding out uh, what's happening, catching up. So this month particularly, we have a series of events. We've been holding a series of events and with that bit of a shala kuntiko. Yeah. It started uh, Wednesday, March 6th. Uh, the most exciting was Kampala um, at Uma Grounds. I can imagine. Hundreds of people showed up. <sighs> Hundreds of ladies. It was a very fun, okay. fun feeling moment. What kind of activities were in the, in the proceedings, in the event? Uh, there was experience sharing. There were inspirational conversations. Mm. Very interesting success stories. There was um, financial literacy training. Mm -hmm. And uh, what better way to round up this with entertainment? So of course. <laughs> 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 Nothing to top it better than some <laughs> entertainment. Now, you've told us about Kampala and how there were lots of women who were able to attend. But I also know that you've been doing this all across the country. First off, which areas across the country have you already been to? Uh, we were in Fort Porto last week. Mm -hmm. And yesterday we were in Bali. Wow, the mm. turn off was amazing. Ah, home sweet home. Next week we will be in uh, Gulu, and then the following week we'll uh, close it with uh, Hoima. Okay, yes. so what's been the level of participation uh, in the different areas and, and, and by women? So we were a little bit timid in the beginning, and uh, we said, let's call a thousand ladies and catch up. When we called a thousand, a thousand five hundred showed. <laughs> so we said, okay, so we are going up country. Let's let's <coughs> let's call it a lower and let's do five hundred. When we called five hundred, a thousand showed up. So mm. yes, the turn up has been extremely amazing. Mm. Trust a woman, spread the good news. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, it's one thing to do a party and and be able to call people and all of that. But beyond that, there has to be a direct benefit to women. And mm. you know, as we talk about the theme. All these activities that you've been doing, how do you feel that they're designed to resonate with, you know, benefiting women and with the growth of women, accelerating that growth? I talked about the purpose of, of Equity Bank, um, transforming lives, giving dignity and expanding opportunities for wealth creation. Sure. Again, you cannot do that leaving the women. Uh, I'm sure you have related with the saying, give a woman one and then and she'll expect multiply. ten. Yes. yes, the multiplication effect with the woman. Yeah. So we work we are quite sure that if we bring uh, the women on board, we are absolutely going to nail this. And what have we done? So the Abachala Kuntiko is a free event where ladies come in to get financial literacy training. They come in to find out how can they access uh, the tailored financial services that we've designed for them. Mm. Uh, can we catch up? What are you doing? How are you saving? How are you budgeting? How is your record keeping? How is your business? How can we make it better? How does Equity Bank hand hold you and take you from step A mm. to step B? Mm. So these events have, very, have been very meaningful to the bank, uh, given its purpose, but also to our communities, to our women, to our societies, to the our customers that we are, that we are serving. Mm. So yes. Okay. Now, all of these campaigns, all of these efforts, everything that we do is mostly geared towards gender equality and bridging the gender gap mm -hmm. uh, between men and women. Tell us about some of your programs. How have you deliberately made efforts to bridge these gaps as Equity Bank? Okay, so when, you, when we invite the ladies, um, and I'll use these as platforms, the series that we are holding, the Chala Kuntiko platforms. So when they come, um, we feel like at we can contribute to this by making sure these platforms are safe for them. How? Mm. 
when you come or when the ladies came, we have made sure they, uh, they, ha they can access the financial services. Sometimes it's a knowledge gap. They don't know where to go, what is even out there for them, were they even ever considered. And sometimes when we say bank, the myths around the bank, or it's the building, or it's the English, or it's the lights, or it's, you know, <laughs> sign here, sign there. Yeah. And in these platforms, we have really tried to demystify all this and say, look, ladies, it's only you who is behind. It's only you who is late. So mm -hmm. how about you jump on the board and, and then let's go, let's get moving. So we ensure that um, the access to financial services, the products that we have had. Last April, we launched the Equimama. The Equimama product is all women designed to meet the needs of the woman. You don't have security. You're probably not very educated. You're probably running a small business. The, the society is expecting you to be better at everything you're doing from home to finance, to, to career and all that. So the Equi Mama is meant to address those needs and sure. that is what we've done. But we felt like this would be a very good platform for us to blow this up and tell them, look here, this is what we have and this is how you can access it. But also the financial literacy training. Mm. There's an assumption that once you make money, automatically you're saving. Automatically there is a budget for it. Mm. Automatically you know what to do. Not, not necessarily from my experience. So in these platforms as Equity Bank, we are making sure that the ladies, the women, are able to access these uh, programs in terms of how can we help you do your documentation better? How can you, how can we help you move from, your business move from point A to B? Maybe it's a loan, maybe it is a saving, maybe it's just um, entrepreneurship advice. And then lastly, what we've also done is uh, the women entrepreneurship support in the same spirit, mm. but also there are partnerships and collaborations with like-minded institutions like, like yourselves. Um, this sure. is a very, very good platform. Media. Yeah, the media, but also we have NGOs, we have um, CBOs, we have donors who are very interested to making sure in making sure that the woman moves from A to B. So yes. Okay, that's a lot of efforts. Now, all of these are geared towards ensuring financial inclusion, but also financial independence for women. And where we see growth in money, always there follows, uh, there in the Kamoli, there's always a bit of fraud here, yes. there's a bit of, and we all know women are usually the highest target when it comes to taking, True. being taken advantage of. How have you, uh, through this Abachara Contico campaign, been able to one, identify some of those fraudulent situations, and B, try to address them? Okay, so fraud is a concern for, for everybody, Absolutely. irrespective of the gender. True. But like you have put it, and you put it right, Kitui, um, women have always been the biggest target. I don't know, somehow they uh, seem more gullible. society feels like yeah. uh, it's a woman's pass, I can grab it yes. until one day you meet one who will beat you up. <laughs> but um, there's, that, there's that assumption that, you know, it's a woman, so I can get into her phone and pick her pin. Mm. It's a woman, I'll call her, you know, and then she'll just say, my mm. code I'll is 222. Uh, and, and somehow... Mm. Uh, You've seen us fighting with our mothers and uh -huh. telling, why did you give them the code? Yeah, and, and somehow uh, we have been... I think we've given them the chance to, and probably because lack of information or sometimes confidence issues, you know, mm. all those various areas. But um, in this series of events that we've been holding on most of our platforms, even here, I want to emphasize that um, we are giving information and we are emphasizing that please do not share your bank details please ladies don't please gentlemen mm. don't everybody out there it doesn't matter if you're banking with equity bank or wherever even mobile money just don't share i think your your our partners in the very steady yeah, campaign steady, yeah. and it's the same the same information we're giving how what are we saying that a fraud star can approach you through impersonation some of mm. them are posing to be bank staff uh, my name is Kitui, I work with Equity Bank, yeah. so give me the last two digits. And when you give the two, you say, that it's not making sense, give me the first two. So Before there's a lot of imp yeah. impersonation and they're telling you sorts of things like the bank is upgrading, so for us to upgrade and all that. So they come through impersonation. They come through social engineering. And this is usually psychological, um, the psychological tricks. I'm yeah. calling from UCC, I am calling from, you know, and the moment you hear UCC, you're like, how is, what is UCC in full? And then say Uganda something, something like, oh, these are the ones, mm. so you give them. So we are saying no to that, and we're saying, please don't. Where it's the bank calling, and I will share the formal communication, the formal line which the bank should use, anything which is outside that, please don't share. And then targeting. Again, we've just talked about it, Kitui, women. Yeah. So you call and at, at the end of the phone, at the other side of the line, it's a woman you're like, bingo, I have this one. So it's just natural targeting, it's a woman, so she'll easily give. But also somehow, um, 
it is very easy. You'll find the codes of the women are triple two, triple one, quadro zero. And you know, there's a child's, a, birthday. Uh, child's birthday, the day she got married, the day she was she christened her last born. Mm. Very easy. So it's very easy to target women. And we are just emphasizing, please do not share mm. your birth details. It becomes very anyone. predictable. Yes. Interesting. Now let's talk about strategies. What mm -hmm. strategies and of course structures have you put in place to avoid fraudulent situations like like what you've just talked about? Okay, so um, you, you're probably aware that equity is leading in the digital sphere. Um, yes. Brad, so why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> but in that sense also, um, our digital platforms are very safe and we have a two-factor authentication system, uh, security system. And uh, what are we saying? That one, we implore again, again, I wish I would say it in capital letters, bolded, italics, underlined. Please do not, <laughs> do not share. We are trying our best, but we are also asking our customers, mm. please do your part. If, even if I did all this and all you needed to do was a phone call and then share uh, your code row two, your code row one, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense eventually. So we're saying, do not use public Wi-Fi. So you're somewhere and then, it pops up and like there is Wi-Fi, next media Wi-Fi, and you're like, top, let me log in. It's free, it's open, it's unsecure, and then you log in. You're not sure of who else is tapping into there. And then we're also saying um, through mobile banking, mobile banking is your phone. The way we protect our phones should be the same way. Your mm. bank account is on your phone. That means you just brought equity bank to your phone. So protect it equally the same way. Mm. And, and I usually joke and say the way you protect it from your spouse is the way you should protect it from the thieves. Okay, okay. <laughs> <Am I> <laughs> 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 but Please oh continue. well, uh, the way you have a password for me to access your WhatsApp messages. Yes. Why don't you have a dual check, a dual control, a mm. dual you know, passwords app. to your bank? It's your, it's your account. I yeah. mean, why don't you do something extra with yourself? But also as a bank, yes, we have the two-factor authentication. Uh, we are saying don't use public Wi-Fi. Uh, at Equity, we will tell you, um, you need a password, yes, but we will send you a confirmation message mm, which mm. says, do you allow? And unless you say allow, yeah. then we will proceed for the transaction to hit both ends. Uh, but also we are saying we have the Equity mobile app, we have the USSD code of star 247 hash, and we are saying, please protect your phone, protect your account, wherever you use it, even, uh, even sure. on, your, on your tab, on your computer, mm. just make sure it's very well protected. We will do our part as Equity Bank. Absolutely. Now, yeah, going back to women, uh, one of the things about your Abachala Kuntiko campaign is pushing for financial confidence among women, encouraging them to take active roles in things like managing their finances and protecting themselves against fraud. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you're doing this. One is the education and awareness. And awareness. Uh, the Wachala Kuntiko, like I said, has given us that platform. But also we are asking for the like-minded uh, partners like you on the Vera Steady campaign and so on. We are saying, um, please, it's exactly what I've been saying. Uh, we keep sending the information through in all languages, in all avenues and saying, um, if we do this and you do your part, you should be safe. But also we are saying empowerment. There's lots of uh, myths around women empowerment, everybody's screaming women empowerment, but at Equity Bank, we want to believe that we are leaving the part. We are leaving the mm. part in Beyond the noise. Beyond the noise. We are saying we have the products for you. We have financial education. We have um, financial literacy training. We have entrepreneurship support. We have uh, hand holding. We are saying the, the products that we are giving, uh, most of the myths around women accessing credit is security. I'm not, I'm not literate, I cannot go to a bank, who is even coming? And we are saying, in all our 50 branches, you can access these products, you can access these services, anyhow, anywhere, anytime you walk in. Okay. Yes. That's quite, quite encouraging right there. Now, with that, tell us your message to women, especially in this month of March, and even before you tell them your message, for those of us who missed the 6th of March, which was the <laughs> celebration here in Kampala, tujikutewa. <laughs> Okay. Um, the party is already happening. Uh, ladies who are out there, parties are around you. Okay. We have given you the knowledge. We are, our doors are open. We are uh, inviting you in. I usually, I am a financial literacy trainer as well. So I usually tell the ladies, it is you who is letting yourself down. Stand up. Walk to where you're supposed to be. Um, I've, I was telling, listeners, I've been sharing and saying, show up. 
show up. Nobody's going to pick you from where you're hiding and say, well, we'll give you the information. Mm. But you need to make a choice and say, I am opening my account today with Equity Bank with just my national ID. Okay. I am attending the financial literacy session and my business needs 500,000, 1 million, 2 million. I am taking the bold step to make sure I move from A to B. There's a famous quote that has been going around and mm. I like saying it. Uh, a woman who yearns to grow, grows. That's it. Uh, I love oh, that. A woman <laughs> who yearns to grow, glows. Glows, yes. indeed. And with those magical words, of course, the conversation might end here. However, there are other celebrations that you mentioned that are still going to be yes. happening across the country. Which ones and where? So we will be in Gulu. So we are doing this every Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday, 6th March, we did Uma Showgrounds, Kampala, massive, massive. Thank you, ladies. Uh, we have done Fort Porto. Thank you to the Fort Porto teams. We have done Mbale. We are doing Gulu and then Hoima. All right. The Gulu? Yes, and then Hoima. <coughs> Gulu, like she's mentioned, is going to be on the 27th of March. And Hoima thereafter is on the 30th of March. Is it open to everyone? Yes, it is. It's free. It is free. Just come and tap in. Indeed, indeed. Yes. Go tap into so many things from inspirational speakers, financial literacy training sessions, exhibitions showcasing products uh, uh, from even the women that you are supporting as a bank. Yes, yes. Apparently. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So make sure to make a mental note to be a part of the Abachala Contico celebration as we celebrate women as we empower them, as we enable them, and as we're able to do all of this courtesy of Equity Bank. Thank you so much, Laura, for joining us Thank this you. morning. Laura Bahimka is the head of micro-banking at Equity Bank. The pleasure Thank of you. mine. Indeed, and of course, it's always a pleasure for us here at NBS TV to bring you information about how you can better yourselves. And with that, allow me to remind you, Veda, steady, protect your PIN, protect your phone, protect your bank app, protect your money from anything around you. Better steady, be better. Kitu is my name. We'll be right back.